So today I just wanted to have a quick demonstration on using a range of different home workshop tools uh, for the purpose of uh, restoration. So it's not just for cleaning the occasional thermostat housing or uh, alternator or uh, whatever aluminium housing you've got lying around, internal engine parts. You can actually use these sorts of things for uh, restoring old tools, for example. Um, I've got this old G-clamp. It's been sitting around. It's a bit seized up. Oh, it's slightly moving, but um, I guess if, if you just wanted it to to work again, all you'd really have to do is give it a soak and solvents and wire brush it and and give it a coat of um, something to protect the surface and it'd work again. Obviously that needs to be uh, refitted back on, but um, you wouldn't actually have to go to this extent, but I want to go through the process just to sort of show you um, the different processes that you can use in the home shop. It's all pretty simple stuff. Um, probably setting up the uh, vapor blast is the most complex, um, then the sandblaster, um, obviously you don't have to go down the route I did with the pressure fed metering valve, but um, just makes it a lot more um, pleasurable to use. But what I want to go through today is um, just the process of, of restoring uh, this, just an old G-clamp. Like I say, it's not that bad, it's a bit seized, you could probably free it up pretty easily um, and make it work, but um, I'm going to go through three separate processes and different steps um, to sort of bring it up for it for if you include the, the final coating um, and just sort of see what condition we can bring this back into so um, I'll go run it through the machines and um, we'll see how it comes up here we are set up in the sandblaster I'm just going to use this to take off the scale um, the, just the worst of it, bring it up to something a little bit nicer and then uh, we'll move on to the next stage of treatment. Um, this sandblaster setup you can find in some of my older videos, uh, I might link it in a card in the top corner. Um, we'll see how we go with editing. Um, but I've got a bit of an air leak in my line so I haven't got it plugged in yet, I'll just go plug it in, set it up and then we'll get this thing blasted. So we've got most of the screw cleaned up on the back side. Just going to do a little bit more on this end and then we'll see if we've uh, freed it up enough to get out. Yeah, it's turning quite easily now. It's come nice and free. A little bit tight at the end. There we go, we're out. So I'll finish cleaning that up and I'll come back when we've just about done this 
most of the way through. It's coming together pretty quickly. Um, and then we'll move on to the next step. So we're a heap cleaner. Looks pretty good on those threads. Here's the end bit. There's still a few things on there that need to be um, cleaned up a little bit. But we've got the main part. Just in here getting a quick zinc bath. Um, I haven't actually gone too much into detail onto the electroplating process. There's plenty of videos out there. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll run it through through a few um, a few courses of, of plating and in between it'll get a bit of a blast. Um, not so important to get this perfect because this will get a, a further coating. Uh, but these these bits here, they'll need to be brought up quite well um, with a decent decent layer of zinc on them. Um, they'll be left exposed apart from the thread that will have a, a light coating of grease on it. So I've just swapped that over. Uh, that one there is about to come out. And it will go on to the next step, which is to give it a quick vapor blast to bring up that nice, bright, shiny zinc finish. Um, and then I'll swap them back over and do another coat on the larger part there um, and just increase the, the thickness of that zinc coating. So um, I need to replace the wiper blade on my wiper inside this vapor blaster. Um, it's becoming a little bit of a problem but hopefully you'll be able to see what I'm up to um, and the next few clips will, will probably just be me flicking back and forward between the vapor blaster uh, and the zinc plater. It's just a very quick light one. I'm not trying to rip off all that the plating. Just to give it a bit of a shine up. go nice good uh, zinc coating on there so that will be painted now the main part and those will be left they'll get a light lube on them and then I'll reassemble it and um, come back and show you the finished result and there's the final result <clears throat> so it's still a bit pitted uh, but I didn't actually have to do much, I didn't have to grind it or anything, that's just with the, the sandblaster, the coating, and then the vapor blaster to bring up that nice finish. And then this was zinc plated underneath, so when the paint inevitably gets chipped off, it still has some form of protection against uh, corrosion. Yeah, pretty good result. Uh, just goes to show how handy it can be. Uh, just to set up a little like a zinc plating bath and to have the sand blaster and the vapor blaster um, Sand blaster is better for the ferrous metals because the vapor blaster will cause a flash rusting um, And quite often the additives that you put in there to prevent flash rusting will prevent um, Surface coatings from adhering properly or it can cause them to react um, so having a dry blast in there and then uh, zinc plating uh, gives a pretty good result. So there we go.